This is Kevin from Cofield Sport and Power here. Today we're going to talk about changing a shear pin in a Simplicity snowblower. So we've already done one on the Hondas. If you want to see that, just go back and look in our videos. Alright, so, got a shear pin broken in a, in a Simplicity snowblower. It's an 860 model. First thing we're going to do, make sure the key is out or the unit shut off. Then we're going to disconnect the spark plug for safety. Our tools we're going to need for this. Hammer, punch, and we've got our shear pin. The other tool is our clearing stick. So, first thing we're going to do is look down and decide which side it needs it. So, the unit's off, this side is spinning freely, this side is not. So we know this side is broken. We're going to tip the unit back and we're going to take our punch. So we know this side is spinning freely so that it's got, it has no tension on it and it's not going to get unwind on us. Find the hole for the, for the shear pin. You can see it's missing. Spin it some, put your pin in and spin. You'll also, as you push, you'll see the punch goes through. The other reason we use a punch is sometimes part of the shear pin, part of the pin, will get stuck inside the shaft. So sometimes you will have to take, and that's why we have the hammer, sometimes you have to take it and hammer out the old pin. Once you've knocked out the old pin, pull out your punch. Your new pin should just slide in, and then we take our clip and put it in, and depending on the person, some people you can do this, some people can't, is you can bend it by hand or you can get a pair of pliers in order to bend it, but as you can see, now it's bent. Shear pin is back is now in. Tip the machine down. Connect your spark plug and reinsert your key. Now you're ready to fire it up and finish snow blowing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down on the bottom or give us a call at the shop. Thank you.